Hey, it's Kevin. Thanks for stopping by for another Road Warrior video blog. I, I like to view myself as a progressive person. I'm pretty accepting, pretty open. Although, as we get older, we tend to get more conservative. And there are just some things now, it's not that I, I get offended. I just kind of shake my head. Like, wow, I wonder why. One thing I've noticed recently, and I, I don't know if it's worth what the stat is, but I've noticed more and more people with more and more tattoos. I have no problem with tattoos, you know. I ended up, you know, growing up and spending some time in Norfolk, Virginia. Finished my high school years there. Spent my college years there. So, in the military, you always had the. I mean, I'll never forget. Probably some of the first tattoos I ever saw were the big, almost Popeye type tattoos, the big anchors or the ships that were on arms from old guys who used to be, you know, had careers in the Navy. And I never thought they were attractive. I never understood the appeal to them. But hey, okay, no big deal. And then I worked with a a young gal in in the hip pocket store, in the jeans store I worked at. I was probably 18, 19 at the time, and, and we hired a gal who had a tattoo of a rose in the little part of her hand. I don't know what, what you call that, the, the webbing between her thumb and her forefinger. And it was like a big deal that this girl had a tattoo. And it was very small, and you could barely notice it, but some people were actually very uncomfortable with it. And that was probably the first young girl I'd seen with a tattoo. You don't think anything about it. I'm sure there are people who have hit tattoos, but because they were hidden, you didn't notice anything. Bear with me here. Holy cow. We got some major road. The, they did something on the road here. Uh, but So it was no big deal. And I didn't see a lot of tattoos for a long time. And then in the mid-90s, tattoos started getting more popular. My wife got a tattoo uh, on her shoulder back in the 90s. and her sister's got a couple of tattoos. And, and, and again, I don't mind tattoos. But I've noticed, and I think now because of Facebook and Instagram, you, you notice those things more and more. The weird, the, the writing and sayings, like I'll see people put writings like on their side over, over by their, what do you call it? It's not your breast per se over on, on your side, basically. And is that a sternum? They'll have quotes and sayings and things like that. I'm like, wow, I wonder why you do that. Again, I have a deathly fear of needles, always have. So to me, a tattoo is like never happening. I've never thought about it. I mean, one of my best friends has got three or four, and he, he's like, he gets the itch every couple of years to get another one. And, and, and again, I don't have any problem with them. It's just, I've noticed, it's like, well, every time you look, people have tattoos. Whether it's on their shoulder, whether it's on the back, whether it's on the breastplate, whether it's, you know, or even some can be hidden. But I notice a lot on legs now. Whether it's on the hip, whether it's on the ankle, whatever it is, more power to them. But it's like, wow, I wonder why they became so popular. I wonder what it was that people just decided tattoos are now in again. And, and when do they stop? The weird things about culture that you just go, wow, I wonder what caused that to happen. I'm sure I could research it. I'm sure I could figure it out. It's just something I've noticed just driving down the road or just walking through the streets or whatever it was. Next week, another Road Warrior video blog, kevinmason.us, our website where you can find all billion episodes of whatever we're up to now, 240, 50, 60. Again, it's not like I keep track of that number. It just, it's written on there, and that's it. Uh, every episode of the Road Warrior video blog, always on kevinmason.us. Try to get them up on Facebook, which we're actually pretty good about now. Get them up on Facebook every week. Also throw them up on YouTube as well. So again, if you search those places, just type in Kevin Mason, Road Warrior. Um, you'll find us in the search in Facebook. You'll find us in the search in, in YouTube. I guess technically if you just type Kevin Mason, Road Warrior in a Google search, you'd be able to find us too. But then again, if you're already watching, you already found us. So I guess that was kind of moot, wasn't it? Another Road Warrior, back next week. See you. Thanks.